Hello and welcome to Access U TV. My name is Michelle Edhouse and today I'd like to talk to you about how to get over the blah. <laughs> now this may be a general blah or this may be something created by um, an event that shows up. I mean somebody might have a barney at you and leaves you feeling Ugh. or it may be <clears throat> that time of the month. It may be just an overall general bleh. So there's a series of different tools that you can use and why am I telling you this right now? Because I had one of those days yesterday. I was just not being productive. I was feeling grumpy. I was biting people's heads off and I was like this doesn't work for me this needs to change and I tried all sorts of tools that I have in my tool belt and those tools are all from access consciousness and they work and different tools work at different times do you know how you know a builder might use a hammer to hammer in a nail and a saw to cut a piece of wood well if they tried to use the saw to hammer in the nail it probably isn't going to be very effective and sometimes I go through my entire toolbox till I find the right tool and the, the key is to keep asking questions the key is to ask the question what tool can I use here to change this and I used who does it belong to I used how does it get any better than this I used what else is possible I used pock and pod I used everything that I could think of and it still wasn't shifting so I asked what's required here you know what showed up I required to just be to not think to not do just be and so when you are struck with a blah <laughs> ask what tool can I use? What question can I ask to change this? And another tool that really, really shifted it for me, um, once I'd been willing just to be with what was going on, actually indulge in the energy of it and just be with it, didn't actually take that long. Um, and it started to expand. Now, Contraction is something that just locks us up. If you imagine in one of the Star Wars or, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a Star Wars movie, they are in the compactor and the walls are closing in and they're trying everything to get out. And um, trying to stop those walls and when they actually just relaxed and gave in and went, ugh, we're going to die, the energy changed. Now, yes, somebody pushed the right button outside the walls, but would you be willing just to relax and go, huh, what is this? What do I do with it? Can I change it? If so, how do I change it? And another tool you can throw in there is what point of view do I have that keeps this in place? You know, yesterday it was that time of the month for me. And, um, you know, this reality has this point of view that there is a that time of the month and sure the body is going through um, changes and hormonal things and blah 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 but it's just a point of view that that should affect our mood and once I recognized that point of view ah oh, I have the point of view that it's 
that time of the month and at that time of the month I get grumpy I can't focus I can't and I recognized all these points of view that I had about what was going on and what changed what brought those points of view up was asking what points of view do I have creating this and as you start to look at what you're choosing that's creating it you know let's say take a different example because not all of you have that time of the month so I mean, you know um, let's say for example you have somebody come at you attack you well the sun is coming out it's morning time wiggy wiggy <laughs> um, you have somebody come out and attack you for whatever reason and it leaves you feeling Bleh. And we've all been there. We've all had that happen, whether it's they're having a grumpy day and taking it out on us, whether we've actually done something wrong. But it's how, it's our points of view that determine how we respond to that. Whether we are left feeling that, or whether we're like, wow, that person had fun just then, obviously, hopefully, because that was interesting. Okay, and moving on. Um, so what points of view do I have creating this? Not necessarily creating them having an attack at you, although you could look at that as well, but what points of view do you have that leave you feeling drained? Leave you feeling bleh? Because you may, you may have the point of view that they were sucking the life out of you. Um, or that you were, they were hacking you to pieces. Or that you just can't cope with that sort of attack. Any of those points of view can leave you struggling for energy, struggling for life, struggling for living. So if you were to destroy and uncreate those points of view and choose something different, how much more ease would you have right now? How much more ease would you have if it ever happens again? Obviously you can choose to create different in the future that doesn't have it happen again. And we could go into that and there's lots and lots of places and spaces we can go with that. And when you're willing to not be at the effect of it, clear out all your points of view about um, how that behavior affects you. I mean, I've had the point of view for many, 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 many years that I don't like being around confrontation. Anybody having an argument and I'd contract, my body would shrink, I would be, oh, get me out of here. Ugh. And I recognized that as an energy, as a point of view that was limiting me. Don't get me wrong, I don't go looking for arguments to be around, but when I am around them, I have a lot more ease, I have a lot more choice, and I can perceive a lot more possibilities. So what are you, what points of view do you have that keep you responding a certain way? What points of view do you have creating the blah? Holding the blah in place? And would you be willing to let those go? Would you be willing to destroy and uncreate them all? And choose a different reality? And notice that I haven't told you you have to. I asked you, will you? Because, you know, sometimes there are things in our lives that are working for us and if we're not willing to let those go because we have another point of view of what would happen if we did let them go so <laughs> i've been rambling on for nearly 10 minutes now so i'm gonna let you guys go and what points of view do you have creating that which you don't no longer desire so thanks for joining me here at access utv 
make sure you hit subscribe like the page whatever it is wherever you're watching this youtube facebook uh, and come join me for another episode of access you tv when i upload it usually once a week ish okay guys i adore you i will talk to you again super soon bye bye